welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining us today today I'm going to be sharing what Valerie eats in a day obviously it varies per day right but today I'm just gonna share with you throughout the day what she is going to eat um, I serve her three meals a day provide her three bottles of milk a day so I just wanted to share that with you guys and, re and record her meals for the day um, so I initially recorded a different intro with everything and actually one or two clips on my camera deleted so unfortunately there will be like a chunk in the beginning that's missing um, but pretty much I just give you pretty much I just give you the intro of what I'm going to be doing and then I also walk you through um, her meal prep for breakfast so just walking you through what I'm going to feed her so basically I am giving her um, wheat toast with one strawberry sliced and then yogurt I can actually walk you through what I actually gave her since my clip erased but just to give you an idea this is the yogurt that I give her or Stone Fuel Organic Kits this is blueberry flavor they have apple they have strawberry banana and yesterday I gave her um, apple but what, usually what I do is I just give her one third I split this into one thirds and that's what I give her for breakfast usually in the afternoon if she has a snack then I give her the remaining of the yogurt and then this is the bread that I use which is just an organic thin sliced um, wheat bread so this is what she had for breakfast yesterday um, once again that clip erased unfortunately but that is what I give her and then um, throughout the day I provide her with like small snacks in between which you'll see on the clip basically in the morning as, she, as soon as she wakes up I give her a bottle around six to seven ounces she goes ahead and finishes that and then an hour later I provide her with her first meal which is breakfast and um, I put her down for a nap when she wakes up from her nap I provide her with her second bottle which is sort of between five ounces or so and then an hour after that, I provide her with lunch. Go ahead and enjoy the clip. Once again, it will start with Valerie on her chair getting ready to eat. Uh, but that is what she's having for breakfast. Okay, I just set her down in the chair. So now I'm just going to get her a big... Just right here, I'm just going to get one. And I'm going to bring her food. Nice. Here, one hand. The other one. Come on. We're gonna pray, okay? Vamos a orar. Señor, gracias por estos alimentos. Bendícelos en el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Okay. I put the bib with the long sleeves because since it's yogurt she gets pretty messy and you'll see but this is going to be her eating she always goes for the yogurt or the strawberries first usually is the strawberries first then she'll go to her yogurt and then lastly she will eat her toast <laughs> If you're wondering where Bella's at, she's right under the table. Does your dog do that? Just waiting by the high chair. Yeah, mommy. Waiting by the high chair, just waiting for something to fall. <laughs> That's Bella. It's currently 8.46. She started eating around maybe 8.35, I wanna say. So it's been about 10 minutes. That's usually how long it takes her to eat. She's done with her strawberries and her yogurt. No, mommy. Now she just has toast left. Are you gonna finish it? So it usually takes her around like 15, 20 minutes. I never rush her. I just let her take her time and you know, eat at her own pace. 
¿Quieres agua? Now I'm just gonna give her a little bit of water. I usually offer the water towards the end just because I feel like she loves water. She loves to drink anything really, but if I offer it too early, she can get full of just the water and then I eat her meal. So I usually just do it at the end. You're done, mommy? Here, give me this one, okay? Because you're done with your yogurt. You don't need the spoon anymore. So I'm gonna take it away now, okay? Last one. Mm. You wanna say bye? So she's at her last slice of toast. Um, and most likely she will finish it. She usually does. Um, but I'm going to finish this off here because my camera is going today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take advantage and charge it. Battery woke up at 11.30 guys. And I gave her um, around 11.45 actually. Battery woke up around 11.45. I gave her some milk. She didn't drink much, around three ounces. It is currently right now 1 p.m. So I am now feeding her lunch. She ate around 12, her milk. Um, so now I'm just giving her some pasta with some meat. I'm giving her some avocado and then I cut up some grapes. So she's about to eat. So I'll see how she feels. Usually for lunch what I do is I give her some leftovers from the previous day. Um, that's where the pasta and the beef are coming from. And then, um, Hope that she enjoys it. Are you ready, Valerie? Gracias, Señor, por estos alimentos. Bendícelos en el nombre de Jesús. Ma. Amen. Ma. And she is going to eat her food. Come on, mommy. And enjoy her lunch. Of course, she always goes for the fruits first. Oh, she's actually going for an avocado. But no, she'll go for the fruit always. Yesterday she didn't want to eat the beef, so we'll see how she does today, guys. Sometimes this is reality with Valerie. She's as she's like getting older. I feel like she's getting even more like pickier with her food. Like she used to love avocados, and now she doesn't feel them as much. There's just certain foods that she doesn't like, but there's other foods that now she's exploring that she likes that she didn't before. So like oatmeal, for example, is one of them. So this is usually what I do. Usually, um, like I had mentioned, I feed her leftovers from last. Um, I feed her leftovers from the previous day. Usually dinner leftovers, um, and that's what I give her for lunch. If there's no leftovers, then that's when I do something quick. I either grill some chicken with salt and pepper, um, or I do some spaghetti, or anything that just is not time consuming, lentil soup. Um, and that's usually what I give her. And then for dinner, that's when I usually cook make a full um, dinner for all of us to eat together. Today I'm making chicken with rice and broccoli and that's what we'll be eating together as a family. So I don't even stress a lot anymore whether she eats or not. I kind of just let her eat and if she doesn't want to, I don't force her. Mm. There you go guys, I added some ketchup and now she's eating it. Yummy, mas. Approximately 10 hours later. That's what she left. Half of the pasta, she finished all her grapes, almost all of the avocado, so she did pretty good. All done? All done, mommy? Okay, guys, so we'll see you back at dinner. 
came outside to play a little bit and this was not part of her meal plan but I'm giving her some a popsicle. Get this? Mmm. Her nap time is in 30 minutes. So just giving her some to taste. So after she wakes up, I'm going to give her a snack. Most likely like a um, um, yogurt. I try not to give her too much fruit because since I gave her fruit in the morning and then also for lunchtime, I don't do fruit for dinner or, or snack. Um, so after, I'll just give her a snack like a yogurt or I have some peanut butter with crackers. And then for dinner, we're just gonna go ahead and eat dinner around 5.30ish. And then her bedtime will be around 7.30, depending on what time she wakes up. But that is what today looks like. You wanna say hi? Say hi. I don't know if you can see with this sun. But just wanted to capture this beautiful moment, just giving her some before I eat it all and devour it. <laughs> Dinner's almost ready. We're having hot and garlic chicken with some white rice and some broccoli. So it's almost done. Valerie woke up around 4. It is currently 4.47. So we're about to get dinner started here. Having some chicken with rice and broccoli. Once it's served, um, I will show you guys when she eats. Okay, dinner served. This is mine. This is Valerie's. And this is for Papa. So we're about to get ready to eat. Here we go. Gracias, Señor, por estos alimentos. Bendícelos en el nombre de Jesús. Amen. I ended up cutting up the chicken so that she can actually grab it. progress she finished all her rice has one little crown of broccoli left has chewing on one right now too and then the chicken she hasn't really touched much but I was able to give her a few pieces she's eating the last piece of broccoli now we're almost done I ended up giving her a little bit of more rice with the sauce and I'm gonna shred the chicken to see if she eats it Thank you. All right, guys, I think she is about done. She finished most of it. She finished a little bit of chicken. She has around four slices left. Pretty much finished all of her meal. Here, mommy, give me that. It's dangerous. Thank you. We're going to call it a night, and that's it for today. You want to say bye, Valerie? Say bye. 
Thank you for joining us. Now the only thing remaining is just her bedtime. She's going to sleep around 7.30 today and we're gonna give her um, six ounces of milk and that's what she will end the night with. Well, thank you for joining us, guys. See you guys on the next video. Bye. Diles bye, mommy. That makes it for dangerous. Dale bye. See you at seven.